Hello everyone, Von Kaiser here, and uh, welcome to another game of Empire Total War. Today I'm playing as the United Provinces, better known as the Netherlands or the Dutch. And I am facing the French today. Alrighty, well, my army consists of four units of these horse guards. I have two on each flank, one obviously being on my left and the other one being on my far right. I have about eight units of line infantry, mostly made up of Swiss infantry and then Scots. So my Dutch army is lacking some Dutch today, but that's alright. And then for skirmishers, I have four units of these riflemen who will be deployed on my front lines. I got my general bodyguard right there, and that is my army. Now my opponent, he had he went for a quality over quantity approach. Uh, he has four units of these crosshairs. They're heavy cavalry, but notice that each unit has two chevron upgrades. So they're I guess that means they're experienced in battle. He brought one, two, three, four units of regular line infantry, but each one has three chevron upgrades. And then he brought three units of uh, of basically French riflemen who are skirmishers, and they each have a chevron. And then he brought two 24-pounder howitzer foot artillery, and each has one, two, three, four, four chevrons. Oh, and his gen general bodyguard also has two chevrons. So, uh, it's clear that my opponent went for the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, another skirmisher just popped up. He's hiding. So he has, uh, four skirmisher units. So it's pretty clear that my opponent went for a quality over quantity approach. Um, the only chevrons I've had on my guys, or I have one chevron each on my, uh, rifleman unit. But besides that, my, I guess my guys are unbattle tested. Oh, I forgot to mention also, I have this one unit of grenadiers right here. So, there they are. So, I certainly have more troops in my army, but uh, his troops are more experienced in battle, per se. Alright, so uh, here I'm moving up on uh, my opponent. Uh, he basically decided to deploy in more towards his spawn. Uh, mostly because I think he wanted to avoid this extremely, uh, rocky, well not rocky, uh, yeah, rocky terrain, uneven terrain, along here. But, uh, he'll deploy his howitzers and they'll be firing upon my guys. Wow, they just took out 11 right here. You know, uh, artillery, especially howitzers, are very bothersome simply because you can't really hide from a howitzer and they explode when they make contact, so... It's just a little annoying. Um, I saw my opponent had of all four of his cavalry units on um, his right flank, but it would be my left flank, so I'm bringing over my horse guard right now. I'm going to be putting them over on the hill up here, so at least they have the terrain advantage. Um, I'm hiding my general back here so he doesn't get sniped out by the howitzer. And um, on my far right, I'm bringing over my Grenadier unit and my other two Horse Guard units on his flanks. Um, when facing an opponent that has a smaller army than you, it's usually wise to if, spread out his line as much as possible. So you have more angles to shoot at for, on him than um, he has to shoot on you. Um, like, one-on-one... -on -one, my units are going to lose to his simply because of his units are so heavily upgraded. But if I if I manage to surround them, then uh, that'll be key to victory in this battle. So um, it's clear that my opponent isn't going to come up to me, so I have to move forward here. You can see that his howitzers are still firing. You guys are cresting the hill and going in for the attack. Um, he saw that I brought over my cavalry and my grenadier over on this side over here, even though my grenadier is now hidden in the woods. So he brought over two of his crosshair units to uh, counter me. Uh, his riflemen are now in range and they're firing on me. Uh, 
I didn't really have much of a choice. I mean, he wasn't coming to me, so I had to go to him. And he had the artillery piece, so I had to make do. But my guys will start firing here shortly. But like I said earlier, in the straight for the gun battle, I'm going to lose simply because his units are upgraded. So what I need to do is I need to get around to his flanks. Uh, my opponent initiates uh, his cavalry charge, so I lead a counter charge. Uh, both these units for each side is a heavy cavalry unit, but uh, his are have two chevrons each, experienced chevrons, so uh, it's going to be a little more difficult to kill. So what I decided to do is I decided to bring over this unit of line infantry, or Swiss line infantry, uh, so they can fire into the sides of the horses right here, and they'll be doing that shortly. Now over here, I managed to get a few shots off with this Swiss infantry unit before the cavalry met. So over here, I already had a pretty good advantage when it came to cavalry fights. Once again, two units of heavy cavalry going up against two units of heavy cavalry. But he, once again, he has two extreme chevrons, so it'll be a little more difficult to kill. Um, in the main straightforward battle uh, in the front line, I'm losing simply because uh, my guys aren't experienced and my line infantry isn't even in range, so I'm actually losing them up right now. But I did put these guys up on the hill right here to fire down on his entire line, which uh, works out pretty well. You can see over here he saw that my guys were firing on him, so uh, he charged in, but he immediate I then put them into square, and then he immediately charges back into my cavalry. But, uh, no worries. Um, along the line, like I said before, my guys are no match one for straightforward firing combat with his units, so my guys start to rout. But uh, I managed to bring over one of the line infantry units I had fighting the cavalry and my grenadier uh, around. Now I'm behind his flank. I also send in this unit of Swiss infantry to engage his riflemen in melee combat. Um, this, I was looking at a different part of the screen at this time, but he sends a general bodyguard unit and charges right into my Swiss infantry, and I didn't realize it, so he manages to pull one over on me there. Um, the general bodyguard does have two chevron upgrades, so uh, they are more difficult to kill than usual than this bodyguard. Um, I slowly am beginning to uh, come around his flanks. Because it was pretty clear to me that uh, with my units rounding in the middle that I wasn't going to be able to defeat him in straightforward combat. Though so over on the far left, I managed to route his cavalry without losing any of my cavalry. Well, they took a lot of damage, but I managed to not lose any of my cavalry force. Um, I did kill his general. I mean, he did charge me with it, so it was pretty much a guarantee. He's one of these, um, one of these dead white horses in here. Um, I bring over my horse guard and I ram into the back of the howitzers right here. So I don't have to deal with those firing upon my men anymore. Now my opponent still has a pretty strong line here. The only problem with for him is that I'm now behind it. So it's going to cause several issues for him. I did manage to route one of his uh, range er, skirmishers. So. Now I have a I'm basically firing at him from several positions now. I send my cavalry to charge into the back of his line infantry right here. The problem is his line infantry is so heavily upgraded, it's hard to uh, route them. Um, I'm bringing over my guys that were on the left fighting. I'm going to slowly surround him. I have this grenadier unit here, and now they're in range and they're throwing their explosives. You can tell that just ripped apart his line. And his unit is about to route, but not quite. So I throw another round of uh, grenades for my grenadiers over here. There, here they come. And it just rips apart his line, as you can see, and now they begin to route. Grenadiers are a uh, very useful unit. Uh, then I lead another cavalry charge from the back of these guys. And uh, they begin the route. Um, I did lead a cavalry charge into this group right here, but they formed a square. So there's no luck here. And this is actually my opponent's last unit. 
So, uh, I decided just to surround him and, uh, annihilate him. Uh, yeah, my opponent, his problem was this game is that he, uh, didn't bring enough units. Uh, I mean, quality is you is always good, but uh, you have to have the numbers too to be able to uh, not get surrounded like uh, my opponent did. I bring over my grenadiers to throw grenades in, but uh, it's too late. They throw their grenades, but uh, these guys are already routing, so they're gonna do absolutely nothing. And uh, that was a battle. Uh, as you can see, I deployed about 500 more uh, men than my opponent, and. He still took more casualties than me. I mean, I only lost 873, and he lost 1,018. But, uh, good game to my opponent, and I hope to see you guys next time.